Next news I'm super excited about because it's an update to some news that we've spoken about before. New York ends religious exemptions for required vaccines. Uh, the New York governor signed a bill ending vaccination exemptions based on religious beliefs. The latest attempt to address the growing measles outbreak in the, uh, the worst the U.S. has experienced in decades. Cuomo said plugging the loophole should help contain the spike on measles cases in New York, the state hardest hit by the uptick in, in the contagious virus due to the low vaccination rates in ultra-Orthodox communities. The science is crystal clear. Vaccines are safe, effective, and the best way to keep our children safe, he said right after signing the bill. Yay! So wait, Yay! Is, this, is this related to the same news that we had last week with regards to the Orthodox Jewish... Uh, yes, school. because remember, it was New York saying, but our law allows for religious exemptions to vaccines. Right. Wait, so this is Orthodox Jewish school made this happen? Well, I don't know if they made it happen. This was something that's been in the works for okay. a lot of different states lately. Okay, great, great, great. So yes. now you can't use religion as an excuse not to vaccinate not in the state of New York. Oh, my, there's going to be so many Orthodox, angry Orthodox Jewish parents in, in New York. You know how big of a deal this is? You know how many of them? This you is know, huge. This is huge. Like this, like I've been to the Orthodox Jewish, you know, areas of New York, right? I actually filmed that area, I interviewed people. I never released it because I never got the time to edit it. But that's it. Like that's that that part of New York is its own area. Like it's a separate territory, and they have their own like security and semi police and their own school. It's like you go from the rest of the New York to the Orthodox Jewish part. It's like going back in time, right? Like it's so, and they are very very sensitive about anybody from outside coming and telling them how to live. They have their own lawyers. They have their own everything, right? And this is a major, major invasion of their own territory right now. Like you're gonna have gov are we gonna have government agents going into these schools and for making sure that the kids are vaccinated? Because this, I, I don't know how if people understand how protective these people are about anything coming into their schools. Like I couldn't believe it. Like if you go to the schools in the Orthodox Jewish part of New York, the the. They, you know, you can see, that, first of all, there are some books that are banned, like science books are like, no, like, and even in their own books, like, they, you know, they, the women, they, you know, are completely blacked out on the, in, the, in, in kids' books and everything else. Like, I, when I was in Iran, um, I, because, you know, foreign books, when the religious ads and stuff, at least only the legs... And the hair was bl blacked out. I saw books that the entire woman was blacked out in the Orthodox. I was like, this is, is this the United States? Like, I felt like I've, I, I was in an Islamic country based on the way they were treating their woman and their, and their, and their kid. It was, it was, it was unbelievable. But this is, this is something they are extremely sensitive about. And I don't know if how, and I don't know what's going to happen. Are, are, do you think there must might be a law that they're not really going to enforce? Like, how, what's going to happen? Like, oh, gonna... no, they're going to have to enforce it. And who's going to be enforcing it are the schools. So um, just like in, in my state where I am, I have to provide proof from a doctor mm. that my child is up to date and current with all vaccines. If my child isn't, a doctor might say, this is the vaccine the child needs. Once they do that, the school will then also let you know, hey, you know, your child's next vaccine booster is due. Uh, we're gonna need a signed document from your kid's doctor saying they got this vaccine. So the school handles that where I am. I don't know if they're gonna do that in the state of New York, but if they don't do that, if they do not comply, then they risk losing funding and everything else. So uh, that's not something they're going to want to mess around with. I, okay, something tells me we're going to hear a lot more. Like They're not going to just take this. This is going to be a huge thing. Something well, tells and me another godless atheist is pointing out that this is not just the Orthodox Jews, but the Christian anti-vaxxers as well. There's a, been a huge spike um, in different sects, especially uh, the, the Christians who believe that no medical intervention is needed. Jesus is all you need. Right. right. Uh, they're going to have a very hard time with this because they won't even take their child to a doctor if their child is dying. Right. 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 Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it's true, but there are some specific groups that are even more sensitive than average. Right. So one is Orthodox Jewish people. But also what about the um, Jehovah's Witnesses? Right. Right. Yeah. So they're extremely sensitive as well. So this is about this.
I haven't seen any Muslim uh, communities being upset, uh, being resisting vaccines. Not in United not States. Particularly, I have neither. I have seen it in other countries, but not in United States. So in United States, so far, it's mostly some some Christian groups and Orthodox. Well, Jews. that or they're living in the comfort over these religious exemption laws, and there's no need for them to protest anything. Right. Um, I ju I just so that's the mm. case as well. I just, I, based on what I've seen, I just think that the Orthodox Jewish community is going to resist it more than anyone else. Like they, because they're not just sensitive about vaccines. Do you, if you just send a government agent there from outside to check in their schools, you already have crossed the line. Like this, the vax crossing the skin is just a whole different territory, right? Just visiting them and trying to make sure, trying to decide what they study in school, that's already like a huge red flag. So I, that's why. That's, I don't know, but I, that's why I think that I'm waiting to see what what the react. I'm I'm just really interested to see what the reaction is going to be to this. Like yeah. when they actually start enforcing this, right? Definitely. Um, Chrissy is saying Jesus is all you need. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jesus is a disease himself that needs a vaccine. We need to come up with a vaccine for Jesus. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.